said, Hello, Lady Marjorie. At first, there were nine. Then, there were five. Ryan said, Don't drop me. But we did. Ollie said, Feel my muscle, miss. And she did. We started talking. Ellen started shouting. Just get on with it! So, um, we did.
be lovely. Mm. Can't wait. Feel good. Yes. What is it? Um, this new man, um, Spinks. Ah, oh, that. Jerry was telling me about it. Jerry? Yes, uh, he was telling me about his over lunch last week. Oh, did he like it? Spinks is his boy. He discovered him. Oh, I didn't know that. Unsolicited manuscript. Do you like it then, do you? Yes, I'm quite enjoying it. You should come to lunch one day. Come and chat about it. Is that absolutely necessary? I mean, it's not as good as all that. You mean it's not good enough for you to come to lunch and chat about it with Jerry and myself? You know? What the hell are you talking about? I must read it again. I have seen hard covers. Again? Jerry, wants us to publish it. I didn't know that. Well, naturally. Anyway, I turned him down. Why? Not much more to say on that subject, really, is there? <clears throat> what do you consider the subject to be? Betrayal. No, it isn't. Isn't it? What is it, then? Well, I don't know. I'm not finished yet. But I'll let you know. Please, do let me know. Of course, I could be thinking of one, but... Anyway, I uh, popped into Mac Express yesterday. Oh, did you? Yes, I went to a cash from Traveller's Shack. Get a much better rate than you do in hotels. Oh, really? Yes, uh, there was a letter there for you. They asked if I was any relation, I said yes. So they asked me if I'd take it. Well, they gave it to me. But I said no, I'd leave it. Did you get it? Yeah. I suppose you popped in there yesterday when shopping it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you got it. To be perfectly honest, I was amazed they suggested I take it. It never happened in England. He's Italian, so free and easy. I mean, just because your name's Downs and my name's Downs, doesn't mean when Mr. and Mrs. Downs lay in their laughing Mediterranean way, which she must have been. We could be, and are vastly more likely to be total strangers. So let's say I, who may laughingly assume to be your husband, had taken the letter after declaring myself to be your husband, but in fact being a total stranger, and opened it, and read it, and with nothing more than idle curiosity. Throwing this into canal. You would have been deprived of your rights over Neri Mayo. And all of this because a Venetian gemme fought to me. I've a mind to write a Dodge of Venice about it. That's what stopped me, by the way, from taking it and bringing it to me. The fact that I could be a total stranger. But what they didn't know, I had no way of knowing that I am your husband. Fish and bun up, bun chart, Only in a laughing Mediterranean way. There's some Jerry. Yes. I recognise the handwriting. How is he? Fine. Good. And Judith? Um, okay. What about the kids? I don't think you mentioned them. They're probably alright then. They were ill or something, you definitely would have mentioned it. Was there any other news? No. No message. We're we looking forward to talk to you though tomorrow. How many times have we been there? Twice. I remember the first time I took you there, how we loved it. That was about ten years ago. Six months after we were married. Do you think we'll like it as much tomorrow? What do you think of Jerry as a letter writer? Huh? You're trembling, are you cold? write to me all the time. Long letters about Ford Maddox Ford. I used to write back to him. Long letters about oh, W.B. Yeats. As when we were both editors of poetry magazines. Him at Cambridge, me at Oxford. We were bright young men. We were close friends. Huh, we still are close friends. All this was long before I met you. Long before he met you. I'm trying to remember when I introduced him to you. But I can't remember. Can you remember? No. You can't? No. How oh. odd. He wasn't the uh, best man at our wedding, was he? You know he was. Ah. See when I introduced him to you then. Any other messages? A message for me, Matt. To do in the line of business in the world of publishing. Has he discovered any new talent? Well, the talent for discovering talent, old Jerry. Mm. No. Mm. 
No message. No message. Yeah. Not even as well. Beloveds. Yes. Of course, there might be something like that. But something when? Along those lines. But when? What? what? When did you know? Yesterday. Only yesterday. I don't recognise his handwriting. Oh yes, I was quite ignorant. I'm sorry. Sorry? <laughs> Where does it take place? Must be pretty awkward. So he's got two kids. He's got two kids. Not to mention a wife. We, we have a flat. A flat? Nice. Must be well established in this uh, affair. How long? Some time. Yes, but how long exactly? Five years. Five years. Ned is one year old. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Ned is yours. Jerry was away in America for two months. Did he write to you from America? Of course, and I wrote to him. Did you tell him Ned had been conceived? Not by letter. But when you told him? Was he glad to learn that I was to be a father? You know, I've always liked Jerry. I've always liked him more than I've liked you, really. <laughs> Maybe I should have been the one to have an affair with him myself. Tell me. What are you looking forward to our trip to each other? 